hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele come on in make yourself comfortable as i serve you this super tasty tilapia soup a long overdue requested video now let's get started so here i have my nicely washed tilapia to marinate it i have shrimp seasoning one spice blend cube, garlic, hot pepper, onion, ginger, and anise seed. All right, I've blended everything up and I'll be marinating this for about three hours. Overnight will be even better, but if you don't have overnight, at least do this before you start your soup because you wanna ensure that your fish tastes really, really good, all right? so once it's done i'm just going to cover it up and set it aside here i have one large onion tomatoes hot pepper and ginger and my secret ingredient is this tolobifi that i've been soaking to get out all the salt tolobifi because it doesn't have a meaty taste and you can still use it as your start up sauce okay you can steam it like you're making any type of soup but it will be this it doesn't have any taste at this point so i get to put all the taste in it so i've added it to my pot to that i've added some tomato paste and i've also poured over it the um stock from the marinade the little liquid that i have there and i'm seasoning it with some more shrimp seasoning some salt and bay leaves okay and this should be the saltiest part of your cooking process as always to ensure that your soup tastes good and you're going to fry this until it thickens up nicely so at this point it's exactly where i want it to be it is just perfect so i'm just going to go ahead and add all my veggies to it but i'm not going to add my ginger because i'll add that later to that i'll add some hot water stir it up nicely cover it up halfway and bring it to a boil once it boils i'll let it cook for about 15 minutes or until my veggies become nice and tender and then i'll take the veggies out blend it very well and to the veggies i'll add my fresh ginger okay and this will bring back freshness into the soup at this point the soup is halfway done so i have blended everything and i'm just going to strain it through my colander so that the soup will be nice and smooth okay just look at this it looks so good but it tastes absolutely divine so at this point i let it um cook for about 10 minutes on medium heat and then i'll go ahead and add my fish when using fish head um while making fish soup you have to be careful because it breaks apart very easily especially if your kids are going to enjoy it as well so once the fish goes in i'll let it cook for about 10 minutes still on medium heat because i don't want the fish to break apart but it shouldn't because you have a lot of water or liquid in your soup so it will be just perfect at this point my soup is done i'm adding some basil kowe yes some much needed basil i mean you cannot make fish soup without your basil well if you can't find it then you can get away with it but if you add this your soup will be absolutely delicious and i added some more hot pepper for those of us that want a little bit more heat and our soup simmered for about five minutes and it's done isn't it gorgeous always cook your fish soups in a wide pot and store it in a wide container because you want to be able to see your fish and scoop it up if you cook it in a deep pot you will break the fish apart 
and if you store it in a deep container you will still break your fish apart and you don't want that thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajeli thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke unamini uchemi suite mahabotu bye y'all